Hey people, Indrik here, back with Age of Wonders 4 for a new run. Time for some of Dark Culture and Shadow Affinity and Undead and Souls and all that cool stuff. None of which I have tried yet, but we're going to give it a go. There's also been the Watcher update a few weeks ago. I haven't played the game since the Watcher update went in, so it's all going to be new to me. As a special treat, I might actually remember some of the changes as they come up too. But let's dive in. See who we're going to be. Choose your I think I'm going to be going back to my generic Forgotten Realm for this one. And if we go Advanced Settings, yes, okay. So they've changed this. This used to be called Starting Distance or something. Now it says Relative Map Size. I think it does exactly the same thing. But let's put it on Large, perhaps. Seven players? What does it go up to? It only goes up to nine in Age of Wonders 4. We'll leave it on seven. That seems all right. Factions. Okay. This time, I'm going to have the rulers procedurally generated. So we're not going to see the same rulers cropping up time and time again. Going to crank up the difficulty, of course. Apparently, they've made some changes and improvements to the AI. But one thing that they took away is the big defensive buffs that AI, AI got at this level. At this level, they had plus three defense and plus three resistance in our last run. And that's been removed, so it seems like I chose the exact wrong time to do my four versus one run with our Dragon Vargeth. But we slogged through it. Okay, no teams. We're just going to go in. Your journey and we're going to be controlling Grenth, the Lich Queen. Yes, it's another elf. I just think they look cool and evil. They are leading these pale goblins. This is a wizard king leader type then, so they get more casting points and mana and stuff. And I have her using the Orbs of Necromancy, which I unlocked from the Pantheon thing. And we can see a bunch of stuff here. What does the Orbs of Necromancy do, actually? Poison damage, and it gives you Raise Undead. Raise a friendly undead corpse. All the other stuff here we'll see when we start the game. Select. Pale goblins are just like tall goblins. I think I left them on default. Yeah. Fast recuperation, which I think humans have as well, right? And sneaky. Well, for more flanking damage, just default goblins here. I just made them pale because it looks creepy. You are in. Everyone else random. I think all of this is fine. We're going to leave all the victory conditions on. They massively changed how magic victory works. And I don't think they updated this tooltip for it. I believe now you need to conquer gold level ancient wonders and then something, something, something. I don't think it's this. Confirm everything. I think that's all fine. Make sure the difficulty is correct. Let's go. Traveling to realm. Seven players, was it? Oh, I already forgotten. Yeah, I think it was seven players. I do like the diplomacy, although we are going to be quite evil, as you'll see. So I'm not sure if anyone's going to want to be our friend. But it's nice to be able to try. Here we are then. Oh, she's dual wielding the orbs? What's this? So here we can see Lich Queen Grenth. We have Goblinoids, of course. Dark culture, meaning cities can negate city stability income penalties. And I, I don't know how. It just says you can. Maybe you need to build a structure or something. We get unique city structures granting knowledge and extra income from prisons and crypts. And units that specialize in inflicting negative status effects and exploiting them with cold or weak. This seems amazing. This is what, what was happening to us a lot in our last game as our dragon. More damage to weakened foes and you get regeneration once per turn if you attack a weakened foe. You also get minus 10 alignment off the bat. So for my culture traits, I've taken mana channelers. I want to try and lean into summoning stuff. Because I think you can summon some undead stuff and things like that. So this halves our initial mana to summon things. Magic origin units get plus one rank. And we start with an extra magic origin unit. I assume it's a tier one. But maybe it's maybe it's a tier two. We'll be lucky. And I took Scions of Evil. Oh, I also took this because I want some Astral Affinity coming in. Because the Astral Empire unlocks are awesome. And I took Scions of Evil. So our cities gain plus ten draft and plus five Imperium per level of our evil alignment. This gives us minus 10 again. 
so we're already at minus 20. Units are recruited with plus one rank when you're maximum evil, which is pure evil. And our shock units and shield units get plus one rank, and we start with an extra of one of those. And here's the goblin stuff we've got already. And I started with the, the Tome of Souls, of course, which we'll look at soon. Ice Shackles we start with. Some frost damage, and they slow. Looks like they just... They just they don't have a choice. They just get slowed. There's no resistance there. And this... 10 frost, 10 fire, and adjacent units also get damage. Not bad. Not bad pulls there. Doesn't tell me how expensive they are, though. Okay, so research. Research was changed quite a lot. In that whenever you research a tome now, I believe... Subsequent tomes get more and more expensive. Even if they're low level. Previously, you could go you could go back to a low level tome to get some enchantments and just like trivially research it in a few turns. Now you can't do that, which helps the homogenization problem that was in the game before, where every every player faction just ended up with all the best enchantments or something if they wanted to min max that way. So for our first pick, we've got Soul Collection. Gain souls per turn, but you lose gold. Seems all right to get early. A bone golem seems amazingly fun. Tier two. Recruited in a city by using souls or by fusing two skeleton units together. Okay. And soul overflow gain strength and 20 maximum hit points until the end of battle. That seems very strong. Because you can get a full six stack in a one hex radius. And all of their negative states. That seems amazing. These all seem really good. But I don't think I want to lock any in right now, because it's 20 mana to do it. I think we'll go Soul Collection immediately to get our Soul Economy going, which we'll talk about now. Here it is up here. By choosing the Soul of the Tome of Souls, you unlock your Soul Economy, which you just use for stuff, basically. As you can see, their Undead Units and Shadow Spells typically get it for killing stuff. But as you saw, there are other ways of doing it, such as that spell I have. What's our army then? Here's Grenth, and yeah, there's the orb, the poison orb, the orbs of necromancy. Definitely looks like she's dual wielding them here. I'm not sure what's going on with that. And a warlock. Weakening bolts. Not a lot of damage, but a 90% chance to weaken. These guys also have a sundering curse. All three action points, two sunder defense, two stacks of sundered resistance, and it weakens them. No save, just weakens them for three turns. Pretty good. These guys do not have the Cold the Weak thing, I notice. So who gets it? Oh, these guys have it. There must be an enchantment to get it on more stuff. I love these noses these goblins have. Weird way to hold your sword, buddy, but okay. These are Dark Warriors. They can charge at you. And Cold the Weak is their main feature, I guess. Looks like our Magic Origin unit is an Inferno Puppy. Not the best pull, because they have Pack Hunter, which we're not going to be able to exploit very much. Although these guys can evolve, so maybe they maybe they are one of the better pulls, because if it's always a Tier 1 unit, we got a Tier 1 unit can turn into a Tier 2 unit. They're Fiends. They are Magic Origin, of course, and they are Low Maintenance. Is that just because is it, do they always have this? Or is that just because we got them from the thing? These guys also do not have Cold the Weak, these bow users, the pursuers. But they can also weaken. That's not bad. Okay. We already have a bunch of ways to weaken stuff. And here's our scout unit. You are called an Outrider. Just a basic unit with a bow and a bit more range and stuff. And you can infiltrate. Oh, that's fun. We are probably... What's this place called? Wrath? Wrath or Vec? Nope. This is going to be the Hollow Castle. Will it get full? It's fit. It does fit. That's a cool name for a Lich Queen place. Oh, she's lost her orbs. Look. There we go. Sometimes they disappear. She's working on it, you guys. We're going to get an Outrider immediately. Wait, I need to see where I've started on this map. Oh, wow. I'm kind of center. This is not good. We're closer to the north and west. So we'll generally try to move that way and... And secure ourselves up against the corner there. Unlike in Planetfall, the map does not wrap around, so you can you can play it a bit more defensively. Okay, 
unfortunately the it always it always spawns a pasture near you it seems but it hasn't put it in an adjacent province so we can't get it first which kind of sucks because typically i like to get immediate farm with a pasture on it to speed up the workshop but we're not going to be able to do that what is this experimentation chambers get knowledge get gold seems good but for now We'll get the workshop to improve our production. Here are the stats for the city. They produce food, production, and draft. Draft is used to produce units. There's also gold, mana, and knowledge, and imperium. These are global resources. I think we start with more casting points now in Watcher. Wasn't it 25? Now it's 45. And they changed the way... Yeah, look, we have spell slots now. You can only have a specific amount of spells ready. Because before you could prepare, you know, 10 spells or something, fire them all off at the same time. So how do we... You can gain another spell slot by building the Wizard Tower, channeling chamber in your throne city. Is that the most we can get in? Three. Doesn't let me open the Imperium tree yet. So we need to go murder someone. This is a pile of food, right? Yes. It says it's a large pickup. Is that more food than usual then? Let's go. Looks like we have an infestation down there. Should be able to just auto this. Let's turn the spells off. Yeah, that's alright. We've got seven souls. I'll take it. we got 78 food. Now we're going to grow in two turns. Hmm. Do I still get the farm down? You know what? I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to get... tempting to get mines on both of these but you want quarries to be able to boost certain things is it shrine yeah shrine is boosted by a quarry so i think i might get quarry first over here and then into the farm and then a mine here and then maybe start to go into forests and stuff we will see looks like an infestation down here though we can move a little bit more oh another thing they added look we now get a little yellow part of the bar to denote how much they are going to regenerate health which is great up a bit more the outrider can start moving west so they always start a free city next to you of your race we need to find that as quickly as possible and probably murder them actually because just declaring war in them will be an evil act we want evil acts we want to be very evil for our build and there's our turn some manor up there on a lovely pillow turns nice and quick because we haven't met anyone yet and if you need to be careful not to scout too far because you don't want to meet too many people when you're evil that was 40 mana that was pretty damn good i'm gonna just keep going sucks not to be able to prospect the mountains like i could with the industrialist culture that was so strong so so strong i'm hoping this is an easy infestation and not some dragons or something Wait, where the heck is it? Does it keep going down there? An evil presence lingers in these... Yeah, but where do they? Where are they lingering? I don't see it. What is going on? Are they infiltrated in the forest, maybe? Hmm. Moving very slow in the forest, of course. What is happening? Why can't I see... Oh, they're over here. A small monster den, okay. We'll deal with that. Just a weird elongated shape that I couldn't see. Did you always start with 50 fortifications? That seems kind of high. I think you're going to go more north, buddy. Some plants, a mana node. We might want to expand towards that. That's quite important for us. There's one down here too, which means we can get a mana node. A conduit rather and a research thing which you need for f for further constructions nice to have one of each so you bear south a bit across this mountain there's a watchtower there i forgot to look around a bit because so you can spot things in the fog of war not sure what that is that's another watchtower there and watchtowers in this game are not defended unless that was a change they made that i've forgotten about been a while since those watcher patch notes came up i'm not seeing any 
obvious ancient wonders. That's another watchtower. Hmm. Can I see what the victory thing is? Research a tier 3 tome. Bind four gold ancient wonders. Bloody hell. This is a really difficult magic uh, victory condition. I don't see how the AI is ever going to do that. Let alone the player. Okay, let's go... Yeah, we'll go through here. I'm not going to go over the mountain, I don't think. Some stuff infiltrated here. We can see it as we passed by. We can annex. And it's going to be the quarry over here. So we have to just hard build the, the workshop, which... No, I don't think I've ever done before. And it's farm here. I could use Imperium to attract population, but I'm going to try to not do that. So what is our first unlock? This is the Empire skill tree. Affinity tree? I'm not sure what they call it. Shows you tomes you've got here. And as you accrue points, you snake up these paths and then you spend Imperium to unlock stuff. As you can see, we're getting five Shadow Affinity per turn. That's from our tomes and our culture and stuff. And we're getting plus one magic affinity. Oh, sorry, astral affinity. That's because we chose mana channelers as one of our traits. So what's the first one? 150 knowledge per hero defeated. That seems strong for us. We're going to be doing a lot of hero murder. Free cities with a whispering stone assigned instantly provide you with vision range. Okay. Free cities or vassals with a whispering stone assigned grant you 15 knowledge. That's pretty good. We're mostly going to be murdering the free cities we find, but... Get plus one Whispering Stone. Assign them to other Empire's vassals to gain the tribute. That's amazing. Oh, a fancy Crypt Blade. Units killed with this weapon transform into a decaying zombie until the end of battle. That sounds fun. More casting points and stuff. Better casting of spells there. Make some cheaper and stuff. Research city, stru city structures costs 50% less gold. And production. I don't know if this is worth 125 Imperium. Bunch more casting points. Better research stuff. Just a pile of mana. Whenever units gain ranks. Look at that. Get some knowledge. Okay. Good stuff. End the turn. Sorry about that little cut there. Had to go take care of something. But we're back with our hollow castle. And we need some orders. We're going to go towards this small monster den, which should be bronze level, I think. Is it? Yeah, bronze infestation. Not a big scary gold one with dragons in it. Can we start this fight this turn? We can. We can use our inferno pups. They're nice and quick. We got a bunch of spiders, some tier 2 spiders and tier 1 spiders. Now, I believe... I believe these guys evolve into a tier 4 spider. I don't know what the hell that looks like. And the, uh... And these tier 1s... Or maybe they... Maybe these... No, no. Maybe these guys evolve into a tier 3. And these guys evolve into a tier 1. Maybe that... Uh, tier 2, sorry. Maybe that's what it is. But we're gonna attack them with my Inferno Puck. See what the auto does. Murders my Inferno Puck. Unacceptable. Probably gonna use some spells. I think I turned them off for the AI there. Because in Age of Wonders 3, there were tier 1 spiders that revolved into a tier 3. And I guess they, they swapped it around a bit. I've got a little cloak of bones here on, on Grenth. It doesn't say her title anywhere. What is it, where does it call her? The Lich Queen. I'm upset. It will say it somewhere. Okay. Yeah, these guys with 1-1 one, one defenses are very, very weak. Same with the Dark Warriors. Play it safe for now. Don't go rushing. Want to hit someone with the... Uh, what is it called? Sundering Curse. Can't cast spells in the first turn. That would have been a great time to cast the AoE damage one we have. And also they've blob blobbed up for us again. So let's do it. Where is it? What is it called? Soul Fire. 
Oh, they look, they unlinked. Maybe this is always the case. But now it's not the same mana and casting point cost. I think that was in the Watcher update. They made early casting a little bit easier on your mana. So now we only have to spend 10 mana and 15 casting points. And of course we start with 25 now. So let's blast some fools. Who do you want to put the main damage on? Probably one of the tier twos, eh? Right there. Sweet. And do we charge off this? Can you hit someone? Oh, you can. This has got good range. So that is a guaranteed weakened. Now we can try to use these bow fellas to try and weaken this one. Got it. Now you guys come in and crash against those guys. It almost murders them outright. They are going to be under huge pressure after that. Hopefully we can keep them alive. And you guys can crash into these fellas. And they are weakened. So they get the regeneration, as you can see. Can the Inferno Pup get in? Oh, they can. They can actually murder here. Please don't die, Inferno Pup. Thank you. And... Oh, we can over-channel. That's right. I'm just going to over-channel. And do another soul fire right here. That's awesome. That's a free action. So now we can move up and try to get a good shot on something. You can get two 50% here. Oh, they have Blight Resistance. Damn you. Since it's a magical attack, it won't do friendly fire if it misses. What is this? Oh, that's the other channel. End the turn. Hopefully our frontliners are okay there. We need a we need a beefy frontliner, and I think it's going to be the big bone golems for us. There's a web. Did they nerf web? A lot of people said that was super strong. I was very tempted to take spider mounts because it seems evil and fun. But recuperation is really bloody good. Okay, can we weaken you? Now, these are physical bow attacks, so they can hit friendly targets. I can't move, though, because of the web. Let's just kill you, then. Move up, take a couple of 90%, maybe. So, they don't inflict poison or anything. No. It's actually not a very good weapon, aside from raising undead, which is amazing. They're still weakened. Yep, so we still get regen and stuff. Are you guys weakened? No. Pup can get it done. Superb. We got 10 souls for that. On release, I think it was... A lot of people thought it was quite difficult to get souls in your soul economy, but I think they updated that quite quickly. So we get a mana siphoner, a tier 3 weapon, killing an unit, enemy unit, gains plus 10 casting points. That's pretty amazing. And some leather armor and some food and production, which will go to the hollow castle. Take them. I'm not going to be using the mace thing on Grent, though. Okay, so I haven't found the starting free city. How about that? Magic material up there. Have I seen any other magic materials? What do they look like on the map? They look like a big diamond. No, I bloody haven't. You're going to continue west, try to get to that watchtower, some food pick up there. Might be something on it that I just can't see yet. We got our workshop. Shrine is boosted. I think we go storehouse though for food. How do we boost this? Forester. Yeah, we're not going to be getting a forester anytime soon. So I'm going for that. We'll go shrine next. How do I boost a granary? Two foresters. Bloody hell. Oh, we can also annex. Farm. Help us grow, and it's on a pasture, so plus 15 for that farm with the pasture there. And Grenth has leveled up. I think I'm going to be leaning into support for you to support your undead fellas. Put your leather armor on, that's fine. Confirm. I don't think there was a confirm button there for, before. 
And there's that mana siphoner. Level. Soul Collector. 90% chance of inflicting Soulbound. More damage against Soulbound. Oh, more souls from it. Yeah, yeah, get that. Got to remember to throw your attacks in on stuff to get them Soulbound. But we also really want Inspiring Leader, Restore, Experience, all these things. Support Tree is really good, or whatever you call that. New Empire skill available. There it is. Don't need to don't need to grab it now. Haven't seen a hero yet. Sure, I guess we'll use you to scout the, the south Grenf. Don't really want to purchase another scout, I don't think. I don't think it would be this far away, but it might be with the um oh here we go. Meeting Nefarious Turnil. Baroness Nexus Murakwar of the Free City Turnil. So these guys are, yeah, these are our power goblins. Salutations, blah, blah, blah. Enjoy your independence for now. We're going to murder them. And they are southeast of us. There we go. So that's where we're heading. We are going to have to siege them down. And take it by force. For a few reasons. One, it's faster than trying to do it diplomatically. And two, declaring war on a free city will be an evil act, evil act which will help us get towards pure evil and stuff. So we are getting plus five from Signs of Evil, yeah. We've got some food and some mana here, which is amazing. You continue north, buddy. And a chest. Containing an item. Oh, they also drastically changed recruiting heroes oh, look, I look I can animate heroes here I assume you still pay upkeep and stuff for them right I'm not sure exactly how that works maybe it's maybe it costs a bunch of souls instead of gold and that kind of thing but previously if you went over your hero cap which is the same as your city cap or rather you get one hero for every city you have not your city cap if you went over it, you just paid 30 gold per turn, which was basically nothing. You also It also cost more to recruit them in the first place. But now, you're going to pay 30 gold extra per hero you go over and 5 Imperium. So it's a massive, massive change. What is this? When this unit attacks an enemy, it gains a stack of bolstered defense. That seems awesome. I like this guy. Morden Merk War. Oh, but these guys come from that city. If I destroy them, are they still going to be here? This is a preacher. Units in the army have faithful and zeal. This is a chaos adept. Ooh, that could be pretty good. When they govern a city, we get chaos affinity. There's some great stuff in the chaos tree. And you are a sensor. So I like this guy to be a frontliner for us. And I like Killian. And it might have to be Killian because I imagine Morden is just going to disappear once we destroy their city. We could hire them before that, and then, and then I don't think they care. That might be the way to go. Because as nice as it would be to have some chaos affinity, having Imperium to buy stuff on three paths is going to be tough. You get the chest, buddy. Your ring of opportunity, not really helpful for Grenth, that's more of a melee thing. But thanks. Uh, yeah, bear, bear to the west, I think. What the heck is this thing? It's a tier 4 mage bane. That looks awesome. Can I have one? Gold mine. Loads of mountains up here. You're going to get some food. This will go to, I assume, the nearest city, which would be our only city, of course. And some mana. Excellent. Have not seen a wonder yet. I do see an infestation here. Ah, that's an, that might be a gold actually up there. Let's move towards that. Renth goes east through the forest, which has taken a while. Soul collection is in. Do I want to do I want to run it now? I don't think I want to run it now. I just want to make sure I got it. Now, this is an enchantment for our battle mages to guard. Oh, 
help them. They can do Soulbound. This is a big AOE debuff. I want my Bone Golems. I might do a shuffle here because I have quite a lot of mana. Shuffle it. We did not get it. What is this? Brand of Wrath. Call the Weak. Ah! Gives Call the Weak to our non-dark units. Which at the moment is only one. Our uh, Inferno Puppies. But we're going to be summoning stuff. So I quite like the idea of getting that going. We can annex. Thank you for telling me. Do I get the mine or do I get a forester up to help us? Yeah, I don't desperately need the gold right now. Let's get a forester. Oh, there's a pickup over here that I never got. A stash of production. So let's just produce a unit. Oh, I can get skeletons now. There are only 10 souls. That's pretty good. And they only take one turn. Are they just terrible? 65 hit points, 2-1. First strike. They are a pikeman or polearm. Oh, and their magic origin. Doesn't that mean they will come in plus one rank for us? Because of channelers? When I'm going to get one. Can rush it for 70 gold and I'll send them off to pick that, that up. And we can also get a structure going for a shrine, I think. We boosted experimentation chambers. Boosted the library. Stonemason on these two farms, okay. I think we'll go for this next. I'll just queue it up now. Don't think I'm going to run that quite yet. Because 68 gold isn't a huge amount of income. But we'll get our, we'll get our second city soon-ish. Oh, hello. I plead for your support. They've gotten themselves into debt. They want me to buy some goodwill with them. Get them out of debt. We can do this thing. 60% chance based on our shadow affinity. Or Yeah, I'm not I don't care about being their friend, so I'm just gonna take the um don't bother me option. What is this thing? I don't know what that is. It's glowing at me though. You guys bear north? There's a road here. Is that a pickup? That, ooh, that might be a free food pickup. Let's have a look. Might be guarded though. You guys go north. Oh, maybe I should have got that watchtower. Yeah, probably should have got that watchtower. Here's our skeleton, buddy. You go and do this. It's going to attract population for 30. I have a decent chunk of Imperium. Usually I don't do it because I love the Imperium unlocks. It's only two turns. It's only two turns. There's definitely going to be a hero in this free city. The one that's been talking to us. The heck is this thing? Looks like the quickest way is just over the little mountains. Yes, trespass. That's fine. nice and now I want you to go and get the watchtower but it's gonna take you a while I understand that what the hell is this thing I don't remember remember seeing that model before alrighty library cheap and cheerful things can't go wrong we need two farms to boost some stuff so I think that might be our next pull Next turn, we get a farm there. Probably. Oh, maybe there, if it lets me. Doesn't seem like it's going to let me. I don't know why. Is it too close to turn nil? Or is it because there's a cliff? 
Maybe I need the... Maybe I need this first. This will get boosted next turn. So we'll, we'll, we'll throw that in next, I think. Can I pick this up? Ah, they tricked me. Uh, let's go and see what this infestation is. Because I might want to go and hit that soon. I don't know those things. I don't know what they are. Now I can find out. I think we can lay siege next turn. Yep. Declare war, which is evil. And then we start our siege. So your siege, your fortification damage by default is 10. And it's quite difficult to get this up. Certain units will help you raise this value. But typically you're at 10 a lot of the time. These guys just have a simple wall. We can add siege projects. We do have a decent chunk of gold, but I don't want to spend too much of it on honor goods or anything. Just go undermine the walls and harass the defenders. And that'll be two turns. And there... Oh, they've got two heroes. That's going to be 300 knowledge. Let's just get it now before I forget. What's this one? Oh, we're not really using Whispering Stones at the moment. Throw that in. We need some more Astral Affinity because it's going up very slowly. Oh, wait, there is a generic tree down here, too. Which has very important things like city cap up. And a whispering stone. And building roads. You go up towards that watchtower. You're going to tell me what this thing is. It is... Oh, it's a creature cage. That's fun. I want to go back and pick that up, then. For sure. But I can't leave that siege. Or it will stop. Haunted Graveyard. That's a silver. So I may need two armies for that. It's still asleep though. Maybe I can check out what's on it. When we can annex. But we can't annex the farm we want down here. Because I wanted to get towards this mana node. But I guess the new the new city can deal with that. So mana node here. I could go towards. Or I can get right next to that one. Let's do this. Farm here. Got to clear that of course. Produce the library. We'll go for the town hall level two. This will unlock new units for us and stuff. We are unstable. How do I ignore these things? Oh, interrogation dungeon gives me some stability. That's nice. And there's the foundation of the wizard tower. Five Imperium. And not a lot of resources. I want to grab that. Uh, yes. Evil presence lingers over there. I'm aware. Thank you. End of turn. Turn 10 or day 10, I think, as the game calls it. Get you moving through the forest very, very slowly. And this is basically cut off here. But can I see what's on it? I can. Nothing too tough at the moment, but that will become stronger over time. Another infestation here. A watchtower there too. Large monster den. Oh, hello. Meeting hostile Astropolis. They don't like me. So be it. Let's get our scout away then. So this is our next target up here to the north. Brand of Wrath is in. Where the heck are my golems? I'm going to shuffle again. There we go. Bone golems, give me. Is that something I can cast now? For 90 mana? Yes, it is. Hmm. Yeah, get it going now. It's evil presence, thank you. Wait, is that gold? It's a gold spawner. There must be some mental stuff in there. So I'm probably going to need two armies to deal with this. Two early armies. But uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a ways away still. We have now breached. What's this? Please don't do anything. Don't kill me. Put spying for Turnil. So I can hang him. Get 10 evil alignment. Which is helpful for us. Get some relations which I don't, don't care about. Get some gold. All cities get city stability. End his life and he gets to join my warriors or get gold alignment. City stability is good. 
but I think I'm gonna just take the evil. I'm still only evil. I need to get to 40 to get to very evil or whatever, whatever it is. First of all, I am gonna recruit... Oh, he's already gone. Doesn't like me. Damn it. How do I get more? The sensor I do not... I don't really rate super highly. This is fun. But are we going to be able to spend anything in that tree? Eventually we will. Sensor's not terrible. Certainly not terrible. Plus six sensing range. Let's get Killian the Conjurer and make her a battle mage. Well, not yet. I was going to do it now because I didn't want to lose the choices, but I guess they disappear when you declare war, which makes sense. But I don't think I would have would have wanted to pay all the extra upkeep for all that time to get that guy sooner. So it's okay. I'm going to get this watchtower. Oh, I've met a player. Horror life taker. Our. They are also evil. And or oh, minus five two five. Oh, we've clashing affinities. That's really bad. And they're threatened by me. It's minus one hundred. It's not insurmountable, but I'm just gonna say goodbye. What does this do for me? Does it make me evil? No, it just makes them hate us more. Don't really want a super early war here. Where did I see them? I just saw. Oh. It's the actual guy. Our life taker. It's level four already. Okay. Well, I've taken the watchtower. They can just take it back, and I don't think it's I don't think it's an act of war to take a tower. What the hell is this thing? Looks like an ancient wonder, it must be. I don't think I've seen that model before. They've got an outpost here, look. Did they start in the top left corner, maybe? Hmm. I envy their corner start. Okay, I'm going to go north. That's a cartographer's tent thing. I'm going to cast this. Oh, it affects our skeletons and our puppies. Gave them some armor, apparently. Alright. Don't think I'm going to cast that yet. Although, maybe I should. We have breached here, I think. Yes, we have. Let's do this manually, shall we? I guess we don't need to. Cast spells, if you like. Auto it, and they lost a Dark Warrior. But yeah, this is a massive chunk of research. I mean, how much how much knowledge are we getting now? Probably like 50 or 60 or something. What are you guys doing? Buffing each other with Rally? Or oh, that guy did the buff, I think. Killian. Who are you? Nexus. They're gonna murder you all. You really exposed yourself. It's under defense. Weakens under resistance. Beautiful. Already weakened, but I'll hit you with this anyway. Hit you with some poison. Try and soul bound you. Resisted all of it. And now we just charge in. Since this is a single entity, it's not going to get weaker as we murder. I don't want that Dark Warrior to flank my puppy. So, you attack from this side. Got a shield. You come this way. That's a flank. Oh, we did bleed off the shield both times. We're going to get a kill here, though. Nice. That should mess their morale up quite a lot. Oh, maybe not. They didn't seem to care all that much. Maybe then I wasn't close enough. Did you bleed? Doesn't seem like it. Are you like immune to bleeding or something because you're a fiend? No, you're immune to burning. But those guys have regeneration because of the cold or weak thing. Ouch. Sundering defenses and weakening me. How dare you? Ouch. Ouch. Okay, we lost a Dark Warrior as well. Fair enough, AI. Now I can cast spells, though. 
And you're all bunched up. Aha! It's gonna be double soul fire again, I think. Gonna focus on the Dark Warriors. And over channel. Another one of those, this time on this guy. Beautiful. Now they only have one model. They can't do much damage to me. I can move up to there. Get to 90%, get the kill. Can you get the kill, pup? You can. Oh, you can't from there. My, my bad. We can move all the way up. Do this. Did you get weakened? I don't think you did. I'm gonna try and soul bound you though. Resisted them all. And I'm mainly doing this to protect my Inferno pup. Charge him in there. We can replace that guy with a bone golem, I guess. But it still sucks to miss him. Where are you going? Holy crap, that was a lot of damage. How are you doing this damage? Those debuffs in. Huh? I'm gonna try three attempts at the soul bound. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. Now we can murder you with this guy. Loving that cold a week. Tons of research and a ton of souls, but we did lose a dark warrior, much like the AI did. They might have even done it better with less mana cost or something. So you leveled up. We are going to go for, yeah, Inspiring Leader, reduce some of this upkeep a little bit. Just that Ring of Opportunity there. And we're going to Absorb you. They've got Magic Material right in their initial province here, Rainbow Clover. More relations with free cities, which is not amazing for us, since we want to murder most people, but with rulers as well. To make some friends and you still get the stability and food of course which is great uh, the, yeah this is not going to be considered our territory so can i rush this i can rush this for 94 i think i'm going to do it so i can get into bone golems they cost 30 souls i can't quite get two of them i can get a night guard though do they have cold the week they do and Dark Stalwart. Adjacent enemy units have a 90% chance of getting debuffed. That's amazing. These guys seem pretty cool. We've seen a Warlock, of course. Sure, we'll queue you up. What about over here? I think I want the Wizard Tower for Imperium. Let's get some battlements. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Bone Golem, new research. An AOE debuff, including weakened, which I like. Yeah. Remains of these people have been collected, so we have ways to get more stuff out of prisoners and crypt people. Could sell them and get their stuff. And they did have some stuff which we're going to use to trade to other leaders and sell and things, but I think we'll try to play into the extra stuff we get from crypts and prisons. I don't know exactly how that works. I'm sure there's a structure for it somewhere. There we go. There it is. We already got the other one for crypts, I think. Or is this the first one? Underground Laboratory. No, that's, it was the first tier of this I'm thinking of. Here are the actual prison. So it probably, it probably doubles. Yeah, another plus two for both of those. So we'll look into those as well. Quite quickly, I think, actually. Going to cost a fair chunk of mana, unfortunately, to get those all rolling in. Yeah, we captured that guy. An evil presence lingers. What the crap is this? A tier 5 Karag. 
but looks awesome. Can I just have one, please? And some penguins, of course. Even the penguins are tier twos. How is my... How are you guys doing on XP? Need to get to champion, yeah. Got a ways to go, unfortunately. But that's just a two stack. And that should give us a chunk of mana for standing on it, I think. And this place is going to be really nice for us. It's got a mana node. There's clovers. Another mana node there. Another one there. Awesome for mana income. And research and stuff. You're still trying to get over here. Yeah, we need to build an army for our second... Well, our first hero, our second hero. We might just have them travel with Grenth for now. Turn off spells and auto it, please. That'll do. Get some souls. 86 mana is beautiful. So what was the next... I wanted to go for this large cage down here. Hopefully I can... De oh, there's another stack here. Something moved. And it was that other player. They've got a tier 2 spider. Apparently. I'm going to grab this. Tells us about a wonder up there. Which is a bit too far away for us to worry about. Yeah, this is a big gold ancient wonder. Which would be awesome to get. But not easy. I think I'm going to move into this little pocket here. You guys... Oh, there's no fight on this. Give me the small cage. A lesser storm spirit. I will take it. And that's going to be magical origin, right? Yes. Awesome. I guess I don't get the plus one rank for you because you just came out of a cage. But if we can send you south, please. Uh, quite a way. Don't get murdered, please. Let's see what the hell this thing is. Looks badass. Painful curse. It's in. And we get a new tome. Now we need to be a little more careful about the tomes we choose because of the aforementioned everything getting more expensive as we go. But I think I'm going to lean into Cryomancy. More Shadow Affinity stuff for now because it gives you Frost Arrows and Frost Blades in the same tome. Not to mention another Summon and a White Witch, which is probably cool. Ice Coffin is amazing. Because it can freeze people. But these other things also look great. Phantasm Warrior. Oh, they're only, they're only tier 1s. In Age of Wonders 3, I loved Phantasm Warriors. They were very strong tier 2 melee guys. Some staves. An invulnerability thing. I'd probably go Evocation. But let's get this and it should unlock tier two tomes afterwards i think oh i always forget to look over here so more shadow affinity arguably would be nice to get some more astral affinity but i really want these frost some uh, enchantments a special province called the school of cryomancy counts as a research post which is nice because we can just build this anywhere and it will count as a research post for other buildings knowledge and more mana per adjacent snow or ice province, which we don't have any access to right now. And frost weapons for our hero. Wait, what is that? Under warfare? Yeah, novice warfare skill. Give it. When all the world has turned to ice. Frost blades. I see a Not making much mana per turn right now. This guy's costing us probably eight or something. Ten. Ten for this fella. You do evolve, right? Do you evolve? Yeah, you do. I don't know. Is it a tier three? I'm pretty sure they evolve into tier threes. Elemental things. You carry on. You. It's a mage's tower. Gives you a bone dragon. I want this thing so bad. Had bone dragons in our last game, but I refused to use them because I was fighting against undead. Definitely need to come up here and grab this before Hower does. They've already got an outpost around here. Yeah, I'm going to take this out. I do want this cage because there could be a tier 3 in it or something. I can 
can rush this for 8 gold. I'm going to do that. Should get Mana Obelisk to help me out with my mana situation. But I think I'm going to go Crypt. Start getting mana income. Not a huge amount, but it's good. This will give me 15. But that's 6 turns. This gives more Imperium. I do like that. Yeah, our production just isn't great. At the moment, we grow in... Oh, we can annex. How long has this been here for? So, are you open? Looks like you're open. So I'm going to conduit over here. You're buffed. You're boosted by two foresters. You're boosted by two quarries. I don't think these things get boosted. I want a conduit. Oh, it says it's occupied. It must just, they must just be um, infiltrated. Damn you. Do I get it now then? And not get any benefit? Immediately? Or do I try to boost something? What is it for this two quarries? I'm going to go quarry... On this gold mine. Bitter gold, bitter production, and a boost. You finally get to this. Excellent. Aha, one of these things. Sure, slog through the forest, skeleton fellas. Use the road as much as you can. I'm going to knock this out, hopefully, easily. Turn mana back on. Uh, so, spell casting. To help them out a bit. They lost the puppy. So we go in manually. Oh, maybe I should go and... Rush the bone golem. Get it down here to help out. So they've got... Night guards, dark warriors, and warlocks. What was it that died? Was it my pups again? I think it was. How are they able to cast spells? They're, I guess, their city still technically exists. I'm gonna spam spells at your face. Could do an AOE weakened thing. Or just more damage. I think I wanna do more damage to these guys specifically. Cut their models down, they do less damage to me. Now, you can use this to guarantee weaken and debuff them and things. Tempted to run these guys up here to get a single attack on the Dark Warriors to try to weaken them, but probably better idea to move you up first, bud, to just go for these guys. Weaken them even more, because that does stack, right? Yeah, it's one of the stacking buffs. So that's good. 70% right here. Soulbound them. Now, do I run you in? Because then you're going to get blasted afterwards, I think. So I don't think I am, actually. Just going to cover... Cover my archers. Put you on defense. I could send you in. They have that first strike, and then again, you're going to get wrecked, I think. I think I'm going to play defensive. So it might be a tough fight for that big cage thing. You hit my leader, which is fine. Okay. Take three 50% rolls. Got it. Now, can we weaken you? We can. Can I soulbound you? I can. And then that, and then you guys charge over here. Don't really want to spend more mana, I don't think. Could have used it to, um, to weaken them. 
further. No morale. Ouch. Can you make it over there, pups? You can. You're awesome. Look at its movement. That counts as a flank. Let's try and weaken them first. Can they get one shot, but it's a 90%. Good. So you guys have coal the weak now, right? Because of that thing. Yeah, Brand of Wrath. Nice. Maybe we can soul bound you. Again, I'm only going to get one shot at it. Good. That's all right. 14 souls. And a poison darts thing. And some production. Lovely. Well, this can actually poison things. Okay. It doesn't do soulbound, though. Confirm. Very tempted to just go straight north, but I do want that thing. I'm going to rush this bone golem. And hopefully we don't need you for this fight. Oh, maybe you'll get there in time, actually. What do we got over here? Magic origin units are cheaper. Now... Are you a magic origin unit? You bloody should be. Yes, you are. So we definitely want that in. Cheaper upkeep for those guys. Give it. Oh, wait. What else? Just roads or something. Evil presence in the lands. Yep. Thank you. Must be over here, power. So that's where my scout me Ah! I didn't even remember this was here. I need that. Lovely pillows. I'll take the pillow. I'm going to grab this. Tell me about a silver wonder. Are there even going to be three golden wonders on this map? Or four? Was it four? That's crazy. Who is going to be able to do that? What am I doing with this fella? I guess we go west and up with you. You may die, but that's going to lower my upkeep. So that's alright. Head down towards this cage. Okay, you can't quite make it. Unless there's something else on there though. It's a pretty easy fight. Wait, what are you? Oh, that's a hero. We want to murder you. Definitely wants to murder you. Is going to bring the bone golem in. It does not. Um, hello, head floating orc guy. So we can buy the hound master for 118. Or I can do evil thing. It's only five, but I think that might get me to the next level of evilness. This is tempting to get, though. Hound masters are cool, I think. And it comes in as a veteran. You know what? We're going to take him. Gives me a Lightbringer. Take the reward. Oh, he can't move. Yes, you can. Why aren't you moving? Oh, we're full over here. Oh, right. The Houndmaster's gone straight in here. Fair enough. So these guys were quite heavily nerfed, I think, at some point. Summons a Warhound at the start of battle. Yeah, they like, reduced the health of this thing and reduced the health of the Hound, I think, is what they did. And they've only got one one defense as a, as a tier two. But they are quite fun units. Is that a single action crossbow type thing? It is. Okay, need to look after them for sure. What is my army going to be then? I guess I drop the Pursuer. Do I drop the Pursuer and the Dark Warrior? I suppose so. This thing's going to be tier 2 soon. Can you start a fight for me? You bloody can, you know. The Bone Golem's not going to get XP here, but... Well worth doing, I think. 150 more knowledge. Beautiful. Underground entrance there. What are you holding on to? Some production. Very tempting to just keep going south, but I need to go north and get that 
that city up there. I really, really, really want it. You can't move anymore. Okay. Build something here. Need more mana. Now it's boosted, thankfully. Or do I get a stonemason first? No, give me this first. Yeah, plus two from my catacombs. And I can increase it with this thing. No, that's knowledge. I don't know. There's a version, I think. Hey, what is this? That's pretty nice. Seven draft, seven gold. And more draft per adjacent quarry or mine. Two quarries here. But I don't really want to put it on the farm. I want my farm farming. I guess just getting one of them is pretty good. Oh, we leveled up. We can grab... Experienced leader, I think. This adds up a hell of a lot, this plus two XP per turn. Defensive training is also amazing. We'll get that first. Also restore. Don't sleep on restore because it removes negative effects. That was very useful in the last game. We want all three of those things. I've captured this weirdo. Yeah, we really need a prison. Really need a prison. That might be the next thing we get. get some knowledge from him which is way more important now because of those expensive tomes need to end this episode soon I want this to become mine next turn there we go there we go now what harbingers of misfortune distraught members of the pale goblins council requests an urgent meeting terrible news our scouts have reported sightings of an army of blessed souls roaming our lands okay they panic Dispatch them. They want me to dispatch them. Educate yourselves. I lose stability but gain knowledge. I'm going to say I'm going to murder them. They're not that far out of the way. They're definitely out of the way though. So, get out of here. You guys, run back up to the hollow castle, please. Huh? We start heading west that quest and you guys join me and we're probably gonna what the hell are these things oh these are from the dragon the tome of evolution or something they look fun and they evolve but they must die should be able to just do that now with an auto i think how's my mana looking 157 let's try and turn it off good enough i'll take it Ring of the Inspiring Killer. Double morale bonuses to allies when killing an enemy. Again, not something amazing for Grant. She doesn't kill stuff that often. We could try to feed her kills, I suppose. Is it time to get a new hero? I think it is. This is Turnil. We need to give you a new name because that's ridiculous. Change city name. You're going to be the Well of Souls. And you can annex immediately. We can annex a conduit immediately. I want one. There's another one down there too. Awesome. And a pasture right there. What an amazing... This is better than my throne city over here. Uh, yep, yeah, hero. I can animate one of the ones I have. What is your deal? But I'd, then I'd lose that little bit of mana income. So I want to... What does it take though? Let me just see. 50 souls to animate them. That's actually a decent deal. But I have the gold and I want more bone golems and stuff. So we're going to recruit one. And it's one of these guys. The Sensor or Killian the Conjurer. I think it's going to be the Conjurer. We'll make her a battle mage and she can give us some chaos affinity. And I think that all that this three yeah, turns into draft as you can see there when you're a governor. Recruits. Spawns at the Hollow Castle. We're going to appoint you as governor. 
given us 626, which is quite nice. There you go. And given us some Chaos Affinity. In here, Stonemason is boosted. I think we need a Stonemason. Sure. Give me that. Night Guard on the way. I want another Bone Golem. And I think it's time to start running Soul Collection. We need that soul. We need them souls coming in. Should have done that maybe a few turns ago. But never mind. So we're going to have an army of three there. Four with this guy. Five with the Bone Golem. And then we get a Warlock, I guess. Not going to queue it up quite yet. Oh, we got this fella coming. Never mind. Don't need the Warlock. Warlocks are really nice, though. Hmm. We shall see. Give me this mana. Excellent. And now you start going west, buddy. We've also got you, that's right. Lover's Spring up there. You come south. Underground entrance. Do I have seen any others? Don't think I have. Now, I didn't check, but I think I still have small underground on this map type. Anything I can pull from here? Not yet. I'm almost at this, which seems good. What's the first here? Oh, defeating infestation gives you stuff. I like that too. I'll get them both, maybe. It's going to take me eight turns just to get there, though. Just saw something move there, but I can't see it now. Oh, it's those guys again. We are neutral. Maybe we can make friends with this guy. How do you feel about me now? Oh, only minus 325 now. Because of Rainbow Clover. Just Met's going to wear off as well. What does it cost me to do a pronouncement? Gold. I'm not spending a hundred gold to make you like me more, buddy. You're a militant warlord. Likes empires that are at war. Likes empires that start wars. Dislikes empires of weaker military. Dislikes empires with good relations. We might be able to make friends with this guy. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, wait, didn't it? I don't see the opposite affinity thing here anymore. Maybe because we also have some chaos going on now. Frost blades are in. Can I get frost arrows? I can't. Soul overflow. That seems really good. I think we're going soul overflow here. Would be nice to have another summon. I can lock it for 30. I think I'm going to lock it for 30 and get this. Because that spell seems amazing. Rainbow clover is in. What part is that's plants? If I can get all of them. Oh wow, Imperial Imperial Essence is amazing. Give me some. Imperial Essence. Can I find oh maybe we'll find them. Maybe we won't. Oh, signature skill. Thank you for telling me, game, because I always forget this exists. It's gotta be someone undead, surely. I was thinking, hey, get Astral from here. But I don't really want her teleporting around that much. Summon undead. Oh, random tier 3? Wasn't this... Pretty sure this was t uh, 3 tier 1s before or something. But yeah, that seems amazing. Give me that. Let's just do one more round of turns here before we end this episode. First city is up and running. First hero is in. Got some bone golems rattling around. And um, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the start here. Soon, we go to war in the north. It's kind of far away, but I would really like to get there soonish and take that city. Because I want bone dragons. But that's going to be it for this one. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.